have I really got to do an Everton guide? I know I said I'd do all the Premier League, but it's Everton. I feel dirty. All right, fine. Right, greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to another Premier League guide. And one of my favourite teams, Everton. I'm a Liverpool fan. It's just Bants. It's actually, I think Everton's going to be a fascinating save this year. I'm really interested to see what the board expect us to achieve this season and the sort of money we've got to spend. So in these guides, we're just going to look from the club from top to bottom, look at the squad, which needs improving, players we can sell, tactics, staff, and all that good stuff. So let's get straight into it. Finances. How much are you going to give me? 20 million. Bastards. Bastards. I suppose they've spent all their money. Okay, 20 million pounds, and we've got Fifty thousand pounds of wages. So we're looking at one good sign in there, aren't we? Before sales, um, how are we doing in the debt department? One hundred fourteen million in debt. That's, that's nothing for a Premier League team. So a little bit disappointed. I'm fascinated to see what the board. I'm going to say, what do the board expect? Europa League. I'm going to guess. Um, okay, top half. Oh, okay, that makes things a lot easier. I think. Fifth round, fourth round, and then obviously in the Europa League as well, quarter final. So that could make things a bit more tricky in the league, just with a pure amount of games. And when we go into the squad, we'll make sure to sort of take that into account because we need a bigger squad if we're playing European football, especially in the, in this first season. Um, so if we have a quick look at the um, staff to see which areas we need to build up. Medical staff lo is looking lovely. The scouting department is about as average as you can be. So I'd probably look to get rid of the worst few here and replace with better, because with that many recruitment team, you should you should be better than average. Uh, coaching staff, very small setup. I'd ask the board if we can have more coaches, um, but it does need some work as well. Let's have a look at the team report. Um, need a left back. Decision making... Um, work rates boring, bad. Jumping's bad. Um, not much squad depth. Uh, not much wages. Good stuff, but you know, lots of good stuff as well. And um, quick look at dynamics just to see our pyramid. I just like looking at pyramids. They're they're triangular. Um, obviously we've got the team leaders as you'd expect: Baines, Jagielka, and Rune. Uh, one massive social group, which could be tricky if you decide that. Wayne Rooney's passed it and you want to sell him, you might piss off a big bunch of players there. Um, but let's have a look into the uh, squad itself and uh, see, you know, see what needs work, see which areas we can strengthen with our not very much money. But we might be able to sell a few players as well to bring some money. We've got a few injured players to start off the season. So in goal, we got Jordan Pickford. Superb goalkeeper. I think that's a great pickup from Everton long term. He's only 23. We've got Rublez as the backup. Perfectly acceptable. Goalkeeper, sorted. Um, now, let's have a look at the centre-back option. We've got Jagielka, who's... He's, he's, he's OK. I think, first, you can get a season out of him. I think we need to start thinking longer term with replacing him. Ashley Williams is in a very similar boat, to be honest, um, at 32. We've got Funes Mori, who's only 26, but he's not quite as good. But he's decent, squad player, but he's out for 11... OK, 11 months... Got, he's basically not a player in the first season. We've got Michael Keane, the new signing. Very, very good centre-back. And we've got Mason Holgate as our sort of bright prospect. Centre-backs, not too bad. I think longer term, is we need to re replace these two. But we've got some other good players as well. I'll play Michael Keane with Jags, probably. Or, you know, rotate Jags and Williams and see which one works out better. Um, and get Mason Holgate plenty of game time. He can play at right-back as well, can't he? Yeah, not the most attacking fullback in the in the world, but um, yeah, so not too bad. Um, right back, we've got Seamus Coleman, who's also out injured for four months, so we're going to be looking to have a different number one choice, and that is going to be Martina Hingis. Um, <laughs> he's an okay backup. The fact we have to play him for the first couple of months in the season is a little bit worrying. We'll have a look at the reserves and the under-18s just to see if we can spot any talent that maybe can step up. But, OK, left-back, we have Leighton Baines, who's really good. Dead ball specialist as well. Looks... I, I used to prefer him when he had, like... He looked like he was the sort of missing member of the Beatles. He's, he's got it cut short now. But, again, longer term, looking to replace him. And he doesn't have any backup. In central midfielder, we are golden. We've got Morgan Schneider in a good um, defensive midfield. We've got James McCarthy who starts the game two months out. We've got Idris Agaya, who I think, I think this guy's fantastic. He's the, for me, he's the next can like going to be spoken about as the next Kante. 
Um, I think he's a very good player. We've got Besic, who's a ball-winning midfielder, who's all right as a sort of squad player. Remember, need a bigger squad, so I might have been tempted to sell this guy before, but just I need those extra bodies. Um, Wayne Rooney's... Where does he naturally play now? Yeah, interesting stats. Kind of, kind of just a well-rounded player now with the... We'll, we'll look into that when we talk about tactics, about where we might play him. Ross Barkley, um, out for six weeks. Obviously, very good player. Um, central midfielder, advanced playmaker. We've got Davy Klassen, the new guy. He's a bit of an FM17 wonder kid. Plays shadow striker. Um, or pretty versatile, actually, um, which is good. We have central midfield. We've got filthy Gilfie Sigerson, who's superb in... In, in in the game anyway like he's not quite hit the ground running for Everton sadly but oh he looks a very good player um okay so central mid I'm I'm actually liking this team how have Everton so shit in real life because this team is pretty good let's look at the more attacking options so we've got Rain Rooney we've got Aaron Lemon <laughs> I just say Aaron Lemon now because I'm so used to my journeyman say well, I had actually had a player called Aaron Lemon, which is just the best player ever. Um, I'd look to just move him on, probably. Um, I'd, I'd get, I'd prefer like replace him with a eighteen-year-old wonder kid as opposed to a thirty-year-old guy that's just going to get worse and worse. Morales been around for a while now. He's never really, you know. There's always been talk about him leaving the club. And, oh. He's never really sort of settled for my liking. He's a good all-rounder, somebody I'd definitely keep this year because he can play so many positions. He's actually pretty good, so that's nice. We've got uh, Yannick Balassi, who's also out for seven months. Okay, um, as a winger, inside 40, option, bags of pace, hopefully, unless his leg's fallen off when he's injured. Then we've got Vlasic, who just looks like a decent youngster, 19 years old. Amazing for 19. Scouts don't think he's going to improve massively, but I'd definitely give, look to give him game time this year. Then we've got Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who's loan listed to start off with. Um, we'll work out. A, a very good prospect. We'll work out if we actually need to loan list him or he can actually get first team football. Then we've got Sandro. Um, who did they buy him from? Oh, okay. Wow, okay. Five million. He, he seems like pretty damn fucking good for five million. Um, valued at 18 million via four and a half star potential. What a pick that is. Um, and then we've got Nias, um, who, decent backup, target man, option, loaned last season to Hull and didn't really do a massive amount. Let's have, before we talk tactics, let's have a quick look in the under 23s. See if we've got any. We've got Tom Davis, um, who I'm just very good central midfielder. I'm just in, like so good. I'm just going to put him in the main squad and give him some game time. Then we've got uh, Lookman, who's a good prospect. We've got um, Henry Onyukuru. Henry, another attacking forward, uh, inside forward. He's on loan and leg for the season, but some good prospect. There might be some more in there. Make sure you check everyone, because the scouts are often wrong. Um, and then we've got Lewis Gibson, who is... Uh, oh, we've got a left back, everybody. I don't think he's quite ready for first team football. Um, but <laughs> there we go. So let's have a look at the squad then. We only have 20 million, don't we? And not much wages. Left back. <laughs> uh, left back. Tactics wise, what does the um, board expect? Yeah, one up top. Rooney behind, I guess. Uh, we have some really good players like Balassi, Sigerson. I'm going to be playing uh, Sigerson as probably like an insight. I think that's his. Is that his best role? I can't remember what Filthy Gilfie's best role is. He's not a natural out here, but I want to get him forward. So I'd either play him here or here. I'm probably going to play Rooney here. I want, I'd like to give Rooney some game time. Uh, so I'll probably play sort of Sigerson on this side. He is right foot. I'm, I'm not going mad, am I? Oh, he's two foot. Even better. Even better. Play him there if you want. Go crazy with yourself. So I don't mind this as a, as a very basic tactic. Obviously, you know, you, you're going to change roles and fill in instructions and stuff like that. But I think we've got the team to do it. So... Where are we sort of looking to strengthen? I think this season we need a left back um, and a right back because Seamus Coleman is out for four months. This guy, they've only just bought him, but I don't think he's very good. Um, free from Southampton. Yeah, I didn't even know he played for Southampton, so for two years apparently. I'd probably just um, wait until January and sell this guy, get another right back in that 
maybe like sort of 2021, somebody that's got can play some games and eventually take over from Sheamus. And a left back, I'd look at buying somebody that's 23, 24, just sort of ready to go into that first team because Leighton Baines is not. I was going to say he's not long for this world. He's not going to die. I'm just thinking, you know, these are good. he's going to start going down. You might get a year or two out of him yet, but maybe so maybe get somebody 18, 19 that Leighton Baines can tutor to become a re- his replacement. Central midfield, no problems whatsoever. Attacking, I like it. I'm glad because I was worried that we only had 20 million pounds to spend, but they expect to get top half. I think that is one of the easier challenges in the Premier League this year, I think this is... You should get top half with this. Even if you didn't buy anyone, you should get top half. Longer term, we need to replace these two centre-backs. But the rest of the team are pretty much good to go. Right, there we go. There's my little sort of team guide for Everton. I hope I wasn't too Liverpool biased. No, I think, you know, I can set it aside. I think they've got a really good team. Um... But if you're an Everton fan or you've managed them in FM18, let, let us know in the comments your tips and tricks, tactics that you use, players that you bought or sold that underperformed, all that good stuff. Anything that you think could help out other people looking to start an Everton save, that would be fantastic. Make sure you go and check out all my other FM18 content and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.